Good Monday evening, everybody, and welcome back. Zoomed out as far as I could on our camera to kind of limit some of that shaking, but the wind continues to gust quite strongly right now in Fargo out of the south southeast sustained winds at 23 miles per hour gusts of 33 miles per hour temperature of 50 three degrees. A beautiful day really we had with increasing cloud cover and now increasing wind currently in Moorhead. Not too bad either. Currently sitting at 52 degrees. A little cooler up north. We're at 44 now in Grand Forks with mostly cloudy skies and gusty winds as well out of the south southeast at 22 miles per hour gusting to 31. So we're continuing to see gusty conditions as we head into our evening. Temperatures though are quite warm down in the Southern Valley. We're at 50 in Fergus Falls, 55 in Oaks and in Aberdeen, 46 Alexandria and Detroit Lakes. We've been a little cooler up in northeastern North Dakota today, 37 in Langdon, 43 in Devils Lake. Satellite and radar shows that where we have a couple of those cooler temperatures, clouds are breaking apart just a little bit, but most of us continuing to see a fairly uh, substantial cloud deck and there's more clouds advancing in from the south and west as well. So looking at a pretty cloudy night ahead of us. Your first alert forecast shows that wind it's not going to go anywhere over the next couple of hours. We'll keep with it out of the south, but the cloud cover, the winds keeps temperatures warm overnight. A little earlier, we were talking about the potential for some of us, particularly in the Southern Valley, to see some record warm low temperatures heading into our Tuesday morning. So tomorrow, the 14th, the previous warmest low temperature in Fargo for November 14th is 40 degrees forecast of 42. So we could be setting some records for the warmest morning in not just Fargo, but several areas in the Southern Valley and Northwestern Minnesota as well. Grand Forks, I think will be just a couple of degrees too cool to potentially tie that record, but it's something that we'll be watching closely through the overnight hours. We are continue to see a, a bit of a southerly breeze through the first half of our day and then a cold front starts to move through. You can see where it is based on the direction of the wind and the brief cloud clearing. This is at lunchtime tomorrow. Now this is a cold front, but that does not mean colder temperatures. In fact, temperatures are going to really warm up as the front moves through just ahead of it. 50s to near 60 degrees in parts of the Southern Valley. Most areas in the 40s and 50s, so still another really nice day expected. And that northwesterly breeze diminishes into tomorrow night. Temperatures for tomorrow morning. This is 7 o'clock. Low to mid 30s, well above average in northeastern North Dakota. 40s to near 50s in parts of the far southern valley. In the afternoon, again, shaping up very nicely. 40s and 50s to near 60. Wednesday, we see sunshine. And then Thursday brings our next weather maker. A fast moving clipper system brings a little bit of snow and mostly wind. Although we could see uh, that snow across the northern valley, southern valley looks pretty dry aside from a flake or two, just some gusty winds. Temperatures recover after that system moves through, but just an approaching uh, Thanksgiving, I almost said Halloween, this month is flying, <laughs> approaching Thanksgiving, temperatures starting to approach average or just below. It had to end eventually. Like you mentioned before, though, any extended forecast out major snow is a win this right. time of year. We'll take it. That's hey, we got some interesting video earlier tonight. We showed it to you. I'll show it to you again. This is out of Beltrami County tonight. Take a look and listen to this. You hear the see the flash, then hear that boom. That's out of near Bemidji here. County emergency officials say they got multiple reports like this of a flash followed by a loud explosion. They don't know what caused it. They are still investigating. They have speculated it could have been a meteor, but we don't know that. If you're planning to travel for Thanksgiving this year, expect crowds. We'll tell you how many people are hitting the road in Price Watch next.